Hello everyone and welcome to Daily Game Review number 71. Today we have Igor 11Q versus Andre 15Q. So at the double digit Q stage you really want to work on the basics of open corners, open sides, and the center is dead last. Uh, and usually you don't even want to try to make points in the center unless it's Super Sentai. And also, where's my weakness, where's my opponent's weakness, and then where's the big move. So let's make sure uh, you guys are sticking to that, and let's see how it goes. What we play here, White playing probably the worst openings you could play uh, in theory, because you almost never play a Komoku that lets your opponent approach. So I'm not sure what White is playing here. Maybe he's trying to confuse his opponent with some psychological tactic, but you did it twice. So it's like you want Black to approach you on both sides. So I'm very interested to see how you're going to play with this, because... Uh, that's normally not good for white, and you did it twice. So we'll see how it goes. Um, no. White, learn your Joseki. Because uh, you can go here, you can go here, you can go here, but you cannot go here. This is not a move. Then black gets the pincer, you don't have a base, you don't have eye shape, and you're getting surrounded. So definitely not good for you. Mm -hmm. Black can just fix. Um... Yeah, this is fine. So this result, good for black. White got maybe three points, and black got uh, 10 plus an extension on top, which can threaten another 10. So maybe the, like this is, uh, let's not value that. Um, but anyway, black got 10, white got three, and black also got an extension. White does have Sente. I'm gonna go for the extension, but this is obviously good for black. Black's up by like seven points in this corner. All right, now white plays here. Um... This is not a move either. The probe is here, and then there's a crosscut here. And this is for an extension if you need it, but that's not good on this board. But sometimes you'll see that, sometimes you see this. That's also possible. But this one is not. So black, all black has to ex do is extend here to support this because you don't, even if white lives in the corner, your influence is bigger. And you want to support that. I think White's... I'm trying to justify White's move. Uh, I think White's trying to trick you somehow in order to get some shape here and then attack your stone. But this is still good for Black. Like, every variation here is good for Black. So Black actually chose to just do this. That's fine. And White Tanookis. Black stops the extension. So Black, the ex stopping the extension's big. Yeah, except there's another Shamari. And stopping the Shamari is bigger than stopping the extension. So I would go here. Uh-huh, and then going here. Uh, if I were you, I would try to just live because you don't. I don't want to give my opponent either forcing move for free. So th I think this would be fine. This seems a little bit flat since uh, this is already third line here and third line here. I'm not sure about this. Uh, so maybe I'd go fourth line here. White extends here. Black jumps, perfectly fine. White jumps kind of slow. This jump is slow. Um, and black, if you want to play on top, just kill the stone. Kill the Aji. That's a gigantic corner but i still want to play like over here now because you don't want white to get that extension plus the extent uh plus the jump and now white's on the wrong side and black is canceling out white's influence pretty effectively so this is pretty easy for black i think both players need to learn their josekis and their shapes white more so than black and um just start studying uh the material that's available online start studying joseki dictionaries Maybe look at some pro games to see what openings they're playing and try to learn openings from that. Just opening patterns. Don't worry about playing everything exact. Maybe review like the first 25 moves of the pro game of like 100 pro games or something just to get an idea of how to play in the opening. And then uh, get a Joseki book or look at the free Joseki dictionaries online and uh, learn your Josekis. And then, of course, send your games in to get reviewed like this as m much as possible and play, 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 play. Get as much experience as possible. Because there's a lot of stuff lacking here. White, if you want to go, you go all the way. You go one space away from black. You don't want to touch a single stone, but you want to get as close as possible in order to put the most amount of pressure and surround like so, and that's much more valuable. This is a little bit soft, so black can extend here easily, and then later black can easily make a second eye with a slide down like this. It's a little bit slow. You don't make your opponent thicker before you try to live. If you want to live, then just go in and live. And if Black does that, you can just jump out. Um, I wouldn't run on the second line. Second line's really small. I would rather sacrifice a stone. 
and then maybe Sabaki in order to attack this might be a little bit more effective. This is going to be really small. Mm -hmm. So black, obviously stronger than white because black's reading is much stronger um, or much better. Uh, black, you'd actually even extend down. White connects, you just kill. White Ataris, then you can take. Uh, but this is also fine. It's not bad for you. Uh, that is. Um, disconnect. White has the fix, and then you Atari. If white extends, you Atari. All fine. But now it's a Ko. You don't want it to be a Ko. Mm-hmm. No, play your co-threat. <laughs> you have to play the co-threat, or your corner's gonna die. Why well, can get this, sure, but uh, you just extend here. You got the top side. You could have gotten more if you would have killed this properly. You would have gotten more, but um, just play this. It looks like black may be a little bit of misread. I guess this is also Sente, huh? It's also Sente. The whole situation's good for black. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think black's going to have an easy time winning the rest of this game because this is super, super, super small for white. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 stones getting you 5 points. 15 stones for 5 points. That is less than 1 point a stone. And your stones are supposed to make multiple points every move. So you can see 2 stones make 4 points and each of these stones made 2 points. But here, 15 stones made 5 points. So you can see it's really, really bad for white on the right. Uh, black developing a center. I would uh, probably jump up here because to deal with white's area because I feel like you want to protect your weak groups first because if white goes here and starts attacking you, it'll become very easy to reduce the top side while you're trying to live over here. Um, what's a good way? Just go here, I guess. Uh, so white can actually reduce the top while attacking this, so I would just fix it. White went here. White, my way was a little bit better. Uh, this is also an elephant's eye, so it's, uh, there's a weakness here. Um, this is not the way to block. Way to block's here. Keep your area. But this isn't big enough because black's area is bigger than yours, so you want to go in blacks somewhere. Uh, if your opponent's area is bigger than yours, destroy both. And this isn't good enough. So I think both players, uh, black, watch your cutting points. I think both players just need more experience at this point. Because uh, it looks like black's reading is better than white's, which it's 11Q versus 15Q, so it's understandable. Both players also need to learn Joseki's, also need to work on some basic um, shapes and stuff. So I think both players need to just play, 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 play. Play as many games as possible. Uh, make sure you're doing go problems to, make, to get your reading on par with uh, your gameplay. And keep sending games in like this. So I've shown you many, many variations or many ideas that you can try. And the more ideas that you see, the more that you see, the more uh, the better ideas you'll be able to come up with in your games. So get your games reviewed. Play as much as possible. You want to play like a thousand games. Just it sounds like a lot, but just it adds up. Don't worry about it. Just play like maybe uh, five games a day, if not ten games a day. And then all of a sudden at the day seven, you'll have anywhere from 35 to like 70 games a day, if I did the math right. And then uh, by the end of the month, you can have like more than 100 games, right? Around 100, 100 plus games. And by the end, and you do that for an entire year, and all of a sudden you have more than 1,000 games. It's very easy to get to 1,000 games in a year. Uh, and if you want to improve, then just play 1,000 games and just play, 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 play. Review them as much as possible. Play with the intent to improve. So always be trying to make your moves better. Uh, look at study guides, look at books, look at free Joseki dictionaries, ask people online to give you teaching games. Do anything you can to gain experience as much as possible, as fast as possible. And I think that'll really help you. Uh, but anyway, I showed you some more shapes, showed you some more ideas, and I hope you found that helpful. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure the what you most both players need is just more knowledge and experience, which is mostly what every double digit Q needs. Okay, so I hope you guys found that helpful. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.